Welcome back, Luke with Premium Aquatics here. Today, we're going back to the tank, as we always do, and we're looking at a fairly new product that's been out for a little while, but I'm finally getting to take a look at it, and that has to deal with our lighting. That's right, say goodbye to the XR15 and the Aquilimations Hydra. They're going bye-bye, I love them, but we're going to swap them out for something new. I'm sure you guys already know what it is. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing great. Let's go ahead, jump right into it. Let me grab these boxes back here. I'll show you what I got, come on. All right, so what are we looking at today? Lighting, we're sticking with LEDs, but we're going to strip lighting. That's right, guys, we have that one three AI blades. That's right. I've got a Coral Glow, a Coral Grow, and even a Freshwater. That's right, a Freshwater, guys. I am gonna be checking out the Freshwater version. I am someone that likes daylight for the most part. I do like a touch of blue, but I do still like the ability to go daylight and have that natural look to it as opposed just to the just punchy in the face blue. So I'm gonna test it all out. See what I can do with it, see what I can pull up with it. I'm excited to try them out, but we got these guys to open up, take down the others, put these on the tank. Let's go ahead and talk about them first. I've got three of the 39 inchers, and then I also have the elevated tank mounts for each one. Uh, with the rimless system that I have, and I don't really wanna hang it or anything like that, I'm just gonna sit them on the system like I would and like I did with like the Reef Brights. So um, I've got three of these to open up and take a look at, but let's talk about the actual fixture itself first here. So as you know, there are three models, the Glow, the Grow, and the Freshwater. The Freshwater is gonna be your main daylight system. I'll go over what LEDs are in each of them, but your Freshwater simply is gonna be your daylight unit, the heavy daylight unit, a lot of cool whites, a few warms, a couple blues and a couple reds, but mainly white LEDs in that one. And then you have the glow, which is gonna be your UV, your fluorescing. That's the thing that's gonna make those colors just burst in the system, whether you got corals, whether you got fish, the glow is gonna be the one that you're wanting for that. It's gonna have a lot of UVs and blues in it. And then the last one, is the Grow, which that one is still gonna be very blue, but it does have a few cool whites in there, um, but again, very heavy on the blues. They come in a wide range of sizes. Mine are the 39 inches. I don't wanna go edge to edge, so I got the 39 inches, and then using the, the uh, tank mounts to basically reach the 48 inches. So I'm not worried about the edge to edge because I don't have corals on the end, nor do I have a lot of corals anyway. So if you're doing edge to edge, then maybe I'd bump it up. But otherwise, the spread you're gonna get with these things, maybe you don't need to worry about that and you'd probably be safe going down. Just depends on your system, so check that out. So the lengths are as follows, 12, 21, 30, 39, 48, 57, and 66. A lot of wide variety of what you can do with them. Uh, they've got a lot of wide range of mounting options. They have, and we'll look at um, the one once I open them up, but if you're getting a 39 inch or less, they're gonna come with some just tank rests. They're basically just plastic pieces. And again, I'll take a look at it once they open up, but they're just plastic pieces that add about four and a half inches on each side of the fixture to give you about a nine inch length all together and they just are gonna rest on the aquarium. That's all they're gonna do. Then you have like what I do, which I'll show you here in a little bit, the elevated tank mounts. They're gonna do the exact same thing by hanging on both sides, but they're gonna elevate it back up off the water, which is what I would prefer so I can get my hands in there as necessary. They have several hanging accessories. They have the hybrid mounts, which will allow you to mount them with a radion, with the AIs and that sort of thing with the brackets. Then they have just straight on hanging kits, which will basically give you arms that go across the fixtures that hang from there. And then on the last one, very simply, they have M8 threads. So you can basically just DIY it up however you want to. And you can also use them with uh, the single arm mounting brackets as well. So check out all those. You'll see a lot better detail and, and options that you can do there. 
and see exactly how they connect up to each one. So without further ado, let's go into the LED clusters per unit, starting with the Coral Grow. Because now on the box it shows the LEDs for the entire thing. However, I want to tell you about the clusters. As you can see here on this 39 inch, we have four clusters of LEDs. And that's essentially what you're gonna get with each unit is less or more clusters. So let's talk about what type of LEDs are in each cluster. So for the Coral Grow, we're looking at six cool white, 12 royal blue, and six blue. That is per cluster, so then take it times however many clusters are in that exact length, and that's how many LEDs you get. So a lot of this is gonna be your royal blue and blue with some cool whites mixed in. Next up, let's take a look at the fresh water. Fresh water, like I said, is gonna be a lot of cool whites and warm, warm whites. Um, mainly gonna be the cool whites. With the fresh water, we're looking at 18 cool whites, four warm whites, two blue, and two red. Last but not least, and what most people are excited for and what really love is the Coral Glow. And for this, this is where you're gonna get all the UV. We're looking at six 430 nanometers, 12 royal blue, three 415 nanometers, and three 405 nanometers. So a ton of UV chips, as you can see, and that's gonna be what makes your corals and fish even really fluoresce under this, especially if you run this at like night and use it kind of as a moonlight, just have those UVs going, you're gonna see some heavy fluorescence. So that's gonna be really cool to see with all my GSP that I got up here at front. Uh, it's gonna be neat to see just how much it makes those colors pop. So we'll open these units up. Uh, they are IP66 rated, so they're water resistant, which obviously we want to have as maximum protection, especially right over the water. Uh, there is passive cooling, no fan, so it's very, very quiet, obviously. You got the heat sink to help dissipate that heat. And then for the optics, it's called an edge field optics, 95 degrees. So you're gonna get great spread, you're gonna get fantastic color melding, and even par. Without further ado, let's go ahead open these guys up, get them on the tank. Okay, first one's out of the bag. We, it is wrapped in plastic, so simply gonna remove that, pull this bad boy out. Hopefully you can see here, uh, real nice fine heat sink on it. Here are the plastic end pieces that I talked about. They simply can pull out and give you that extra length to then sit on the aquarium edge, so you're not putting the actual light itself on the edge. So that's nice, uh, already come installed for you. So obviously I'm gonna remove these and uh, get the other brackets on here. So I'm gonna pop this bad boy off. Nice thing is they've got two clips here to give it some security so you don't have to worry about this thing just, you know, popping out of its socket. I gotta come in here, pop those tabs real quick, and then it'll remove. And then the only other thing that comes in the box is our power supply and cord. I'll show you real quick here these elevated tank brackets, literally almost the same thing, just a plastic bracket, two metal bars coming out, and then a little metal or a little plastic piece to sit on. Uh, there are some cord holders right here, which are nice. All right, guys, so as you can see, there's a few changes been made. My beard shorter, shirt, all this stuff. I've given it a few days because I actually ended up deciding I wanted to get them on, play around with them for a little bit, and be able to tell you right here now in this video my initial thoughts on them. Uh, more than just opening them up and flickering them on. So I have them on. You can see here um, I've got my Glow, Freshwater, and Grow stacked individually. Freshwater is in the middle. Um, I don't know why the, the, the Freshwater is silver. So I've got them all set up. Uh, it was really simple to do uh, to get these elevated tank brackets on there. I only had one that had a little bit of issue with the gasket rubbed up. So I had to reseat that and then put it on, but the rest of them I had absolutely no issues with getting on. Um, they're super simple to turn on, and you have a button on the left side here, opposite of where the cord is, and that button will turn it on, and then if you keep pushing, it'll do increments as far as its dimming level. So you can either use it that way, or if you don't wanna do it manually, like most lighting these days, especially LED, if you don't wanna do it manually, grab your phone, download the My AI app, and you can utilize it there. Uh, it's the same as everything else with the My AI, uh, the Hydras, the Neros, all that stuff under one roof. The great thing is, I didn't know how they would set it up, if it would be, okay, each individual light has its own channel, and I set each light individually, or 
if it's going to combo it. And to my wonderful surprise, they comboed everything together. So now, when I go into my phone and set the settings and my dimming, all that stuff, when I want the red, it knows which fixture to deal with. If I want to do the UVs, it goes to just, you know, the UV channel. So it takes all those channels between my three fixtures, combines them, and allows me to set it up that way. With regards to the ones I got, uh, I know a lot of people are out there for the glows because they want that UV. I absolutely agree. I love it. I'm just not, that's not all I want. I love my setup. I love the fresh water. It gives a huge amount of daylight and not yellow daylight, but the nice cool bluish daylight. So I absolutely love what I've got set up here. I am so glad I personally got the fresh water. Now again, that may not be something you want. You may love the blue. So by all means, go with the grow and the glows. But if you do like daylight, I highly recommend look at getting a fresh water. It is silver as opposed to the black from the others, which not particularly keen on, but for me, I don't care. And if you have a canopy, who well, you know, no one's going to notice anyways, but I don't really care about it that much. Uh, these are warm. They've been on, we're midday here, so they've been on for a few hours and they are warm, but nothing huge. I can put my hand on it, hold it, no problem. It's just warm. I think the tank looks amazing with it. Uh, with the UVs that I am running, my GSP pops still very wonderfully. The corals, the lanthids that I have, those pop really nicely. And then at night, when I'm dimming everything down, I keep the UVs going. I let them run longer, and man, do those colors pop. It's just phenomenal. I absolutely love it. So I really like these. Overall, I think it's great. The controllability you get out of them is amazing. They are a little bit up there in price, of course, because of what you do get out of it. So keep that in mind. But it's all in the eye of the colder. So for me, I really love the way this looks. I think it looks phenomenal. I would highly recommend checking them out at least and seeing if it's a good fit for your system, whether it be in tandem with other lights, with metal halides, with other LEDs, or if you wanna do it like me and just go all LEDs and just do all strip lights. So a lot of different options out there. Um, I'll take you down here so you can, I'll just pan across here. Keep in mind, I don't have a ton in my system, but we'll show you. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. We appreciate you and love you. Hope you are doing fantastic. School has started. The kids are <laughs> the kids are going to school. Enjoy the rest of your week. Enjoy the beautiful weather while we have it. And we'll catch you soon.